I was born in Lagos, um, grew up in Lagos most of my life. I grew up in a, in a middle class family, so my dad worked for NCR, my mother owned her own business. Uh, from time to time during vacations, we'll go to, the, to our hometown, so I'll keep in touch with my culture, keep in touch with my tradition, meet my cousins over there. So, so the, the, the diversity visa lottery, as it's known, uh, the DV visa, um, is a visa program run by the U.S. government, U.S. Department of State through embassies. Uh, it's an opportunity given to immigrants from all over the world to be able to work and live in the United States. I applied the first time and I got notified after I think a year, close to a year, that I had won. So I had to go through a lot of processes uh, prior to my interview. Uh, we had biometric tests done through the FBI, through, we had biometric tests done by the local police. So when I arrived here, um, first thing I did, of course, my process of assimilation, preparing myself for my journey. I worked with administrators who were also stern professionals that have grown into leadership. So I worked towards diversifying my skills, and that helped me a lot when I came to the States because I was able to kind of lean onto my field a bit and get, gain more knowledge in the business side. I learned surprisingly other aspects of supply chain, retail, healthcare, and brought all that knowledge together. So I learned to be able to continue my journey to aspire into leadership, expanded my knowledge base, uh, bringing that business side, project management in, mixing it with my STEM skills, and that has accelerated my career in my current company. So I would say as an immig immigrant, explore avenues uh, where you can get resources and also possible funding to support your career path. I think it does help a lot. Being an immigrant is difficult, uh, but with the opportunities and determination, I think the American dream is not far away. It's, it's attainable. I am married. Uh, my anniversary is coming up, uh, 11 years married. I've known my beautiful wife for 12 and a half years. Uh, we have three lovely kids, three boys, Joshua, Caleb, and Daniel. They're my joy. My wife's name is Darlene. She's one person uh, that is open to culture. Um, she made America my home for me. Teaching my boys also to appreciate that culture goes a long way. And, you know, it's, it kind of stares away from the stereotype that, hey, if you're from Africa, eh, it's different. We're the same people. We just have to understand each other. I, I, I love fishing. I grew up, uh, I did that a lot with my late grandfather. That was our thing. We would go fish. So fishing in Africa is different from fishing here. In Africa, we're taught to fish with nets. So we knit the bait, it takes a long time, very tedious, but you go for a big catch. Um, coming to the States, I learned how to fish with a real fishing pole. You catch one fish at a time, uh, big difference. But I love fishing. I, I, my wife's dad is a great, he owns his own boat. So when we're in California, when he comes here to visit, we always go fishing, that's our thing. And I have surprisingly become a very big football fan. <laughs> I love football. Um, it reminds me of rugby, a little bit of rugby back home, but learning football, watching football. Uh, I always have my friends tell me, if you were born here, you would be a football player. I don't know how true that is, but it's fun.